Hi, everyone. Um, today, I want to talk to you about 2D graphics with SFML. I'm one of the maintainers of SFML. And just as a start, I want to see who has used SFML before. OK, that's quite a lot. Uh, SFML, if you don't know, stands for Simple and Fast Multimedia Library. And so it does more than just 2D graphics, but I'm go I have only five minutes here. There are quite a few games made with SFML. Um, you can check them out mostly on Steam or itch.io. There are more than just these few, and they're quite great, so go check them out. To get started, you, you can just clone GitHub repository, use CMake, and there are also a lot of other package managers, like Conan, for example, uh, and your usual OS base package manager. Just to get started with 2D graphics, it's a real-time application, so we need a main loop. Uh, we start off with a window, we set it to 60 FPS, and our main loop runs as long as our window is open. Of course, we have to also handle the events. I'm not going further into details here, but we also want to close the window and not be marked as unresponsive. Um, then we come to the main part of rendering, we clear the window, display it, whatever we drew, but since we didn't draw anything, it's just a black window. We can then start with simple shapes that SML provides us. We have a rectangle shape, we can like, set the fill, fill color, we can set a position, we can rotate it, transform it, and the important part, in the end, you have to put the draw call between clear and display. We can extend this with a circle shape. We can also set the outline color. We can set the outline thickness and also render it again. There are a few other shapes, but oftentimes you don't just want to draw simple shapes. You want to draw images. So we switch over to textures. You can load a texture from a file. Always make sure it actually loads correctly. And then you can assign it to a sprite. And again, you can transform it however you want and in the end, render it again as an object. Sometimes you don't want the whole image, but only part of it. So you can set a texture rectangle, and um, you can just get one part of that texture. This is especially interesting if you want to do animations. If you have a um, tile set with many different frames, you can just pick one specific frame and change just the texture rect and you get easily an animation if you time it correctly. Of course, every graphics library has to provide some text and fonts, um, and SML is no exception here. Again, you load a font, make sure it loads correctly, and then you set it to a text, set a string to it, pick a um, text size, and you can have different styles. You can have it bold, underline, strike through, and we could transform it however we want. There's also the option to, again, have an outline. And if you have multiple lines, you can set the uh, line spacing. If you have just one line, or it also works with multiple lines, you can set the letter spacing. But these are more like helper utilities at times. Oftentimes, you just want to go and like draw a lot of vertices to do something. And SML provides their vertex arrays and vertex buffers. Difference in simplicity is that you can, with a vertex buffer, you, it's uh, cached on the GPU side. And if you don't update it as much, the vertices, you get a bit more performance. You can draw a, sim a simple rectangle. It's a bit more verbose since you now specify each vertices. You can also draw again with a textured um, vertex array. And here we have two triangles that form a rectangle, and you get the same logo that we saw before. The important part here is that you have to specify the texture that you use at the draw call, and not with the object itself. Then with vertex arrays, you can also do more crazy things um, of having just an array of integers and the tile set, and map these to each other and then you get a nice tile map with just one draw call. SML can do a lot more things. These are a few, but they're not all of them. 
And if you want to talk to me, if you have some questions, just find me. I'm always open to talk about SFML. Here's a link to SFML and the talks. The talk will, the small talk will also be on my GitHub repository, and I've got some stickers if anyone wants some. <laughs>